Joining me now is entertainment and royal reporter Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, soprano star Drea De Matteo spoke out about the pressure in Hollywood to be woke and left-leaning, saying some would want to take me into the woods and shoot me for not endorsing Joe Biden for president. Fans of Sopranos would get that reference. The actress said there are a few people in Hollywood willing to speak out about their Republican views, and she doubled down on those views in this interview. How are they going to vote for Biden? Come on. He needs to be on Golden Pond right now, relaxing. Right. in his pants. He can't, he can't do this anymore. I don't want to be a but he's not running the country anyway, so why are they going to vote for him? <laughs> she's being funny there, but you know what? She's absolutely right. If you come out as even centre-centrist, God forbid centre-right, it can have an enormous impact on your career. It could end your career. Yeah, I remember years ago, Greg Gutfeld from Fox News was out here and I went to this super secret Republican celebrity meeting with him that was at a bar and like Fabio was there and it was all very hush hush. We weren't allowed to talk about who was there. I mean, now Fabio, <laughs> I think I think Fabio is OK today. Um, but, you know, look yeah. at the celebrity <laughs> reaction to the debate. You had uh, John Cusack, Barbara Streisand, you know, John Stewart not being able to accept the fact that Joe Biden gave such a terrible performance. So they lashed out at the CNN moderator, CNN, which is completely yes. <laughs> liberal and pro Biden the 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, so I think that she, well, she is speaking the truth aggressively and with a little bit of humor. Um, you do jeopardize your career by admitting that you are a conservative or a Republican uh, in the city of, of Los Angeles. Oh, absolutely. In the entertainment industry as a whole, I don't think it depends, matters where it is, whether it's theatre, whether it's TV networks, Hollywood. Now, let's talk about Harry. Prince Harry is being accused of deliberately destroying evidence in his phone hacking case. The judge overseeing the case agreed with news group newspapers that there was troubling evidence that a large number of potentially relevant documents and confidential messages between the Duke and the ghostwriter of Spare were destroyed somewhere, sometime between 2021 and 2023, well after his claim was underway. What does this mean for his case, Kinsey? I mean, well, just to give you an idea, the judge called Harry's lack of documentation rather remarkable and a cause for concern. The judge insisted that Ooh. Prince Harry and his legal team try to retrieve the missing messages between the lawyer and ghostwriter of Spare. He also asked Harry's legal team to get in touch with other royal family officials and ask them to submit any records of communication with Prince Harry. Now, Harry's team calls these accusations accusations a transparent old-fashioned fishing expedition uh, but the reality is is they mm. have got to try to find th these conversations they've got to try to find these passages or it will jeopardize prince harry's case against the sun uh, but clearly the judge seeing that there that this is troubling he called it troubling evidence and um i think that prince harry is uh, got it at least has to try in this case because the judge is very glued in on these missing documents now prince harry received the pat tillman award for services at the uh, most recent espn award show i mean i really uh struggle to see why the mother of the late pat pat tillman a former nfl player who joined the u.s army after 9 11 a hero uh, his mother says Prince Harry didn't deserve the award and I've got to agree. Mary Tillman said, I am shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award. A petition has already been launched to demand ESPN rescind the honour, insisting the prince does not reflect the award's intent. Not only is he a divisive, controversial figure, but what has he done to deserve such an honour? You would think there would be so many more worthy people who, who would be better suited to take this award. 
Now, ESPN and the ESPYs would argue with you that it's Invictus Games, but it's like, just like what Mary Tillman said. Let's let's reach out to somebody that is less privileged than Prince Harry that could really benefit, mm. that is doing important things, that could really benefit from this type of profile uh, and this type of platform. But I just want to say, Rita, I think it's suspicious that we get this news right around the same time that Prince Harry's team is being accused of destroying evidence because th this award, he hasn't received mm -hmm. it yet. It was announced that he was going to receive it within hours of him being accused of destroying crucial evidence in this Sun case. So was this a, a plot for, by his PR team to push this story, you know, to, to push the uh, evidence story out of the way? Uh, but also ESPN's, um, one of their most highly paid, highly rated Pat McAfee, they, on his show, they described this nomination as probably the most embarrassing thing they've seen in their entire lives. This is their employer. And they questioned whether the ESPYs awards committee even did their homework um, on its candidate search in the first place. So a lot of pushback about this Pat Tillman award. Absolutely. And for those who are not familiar with ESPN, yes, they're sport, sports network, but very political, very left leaning. And I wonder if that played a role in Harry's selection. Before you go, the Daily Beast has released their new royal power list. Uh, who is on top and who is way down in the bottom? That's right. Well, Prince William dominating. They say that there is a sense that Prince William has stepped into the Prince Philip role. Philip ruled the family with a rod of iron. And you saw when he died, that discipline collapsed. They're saying that now Prince William is calling the shots when it comes to family discipline. He can be scary. They say the most notable effect of his role as enforcer is the absolute ban on Harry returning in any way, shape or form to the family fold. Well, that seems like a very wise move by Prince William, future king there. That is uh, fantastic. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for that update.